Who said you can't use AI without paying for the subscription? Because those things pile up quickly. 20 bucks for ChatGPT, then 10 for another AI tool, and in the blink of an eye, you're paying 100 bucks for something you could have used for free. So I took a deep dive and found you the best free AI tools that you definitely need. Let's say you are a musician and you need some help. Surely you can ask your friends to help you out or just nix someone's creation and modify it or you can use AI for that. Typically, the music generation services require a hefty fee ranging from a couple dollars a month to a couple hundred dollars, but I found something much better, much faster, and most importantly, free. This tool is called Music Effects, and it's powered by Google's Music LM, DeepMind, and SynthID. To you, this all sounds like abracadabra, but Google says the last two systems embed a digital watermark in the outputs, but that's definitely not something you should worry about. We're here for inspiration, right? Once I open the web page, I see a very clean and intuitive layout. The left half is dedicated to the prompt window and the right side shows the generated tracks. I'm gonna start with something relatively simple. Xylophone, dynamic, movie soundtrack, epic, BPM 145. Then I just click generate and watch the magic happen. Music Effects optimizes the prompt and rearranges it into editable pieces. And here are the generated soundtracks. The default length of a track is 30 seconds. And I must say the quality of generation is quite decent and the results do sound pretty nice. Now let's go back to that prompt window and check this out. I can pick any word in my prompt and change it to one of the suggested options from the drop down menu. I find it very convenient, especially for those of you who are new to AI and don't want to bother with learning prompt engineering. So I'm gonna change the pace to be really fast. Switch xylophone with guitars and hit generate once again. These new results do sound more interesting, but I wanna take it a bit further and set a specific BPM. Choose a cowboy style and spaghetti westerns to make it super clear what I want. Okay, this last one does sound really nice, at least given the prompt I chose. Let's download it and take a listen. Nice, right? Another thing that I want to try is whether this AI can imitate existing songs. So my next prompt sounds like James Bond-like song, 8-bit. I'm expecting to get something from 1970s or early 1980s, something from Super NES, but none of these results sound like something I would have wanted. And no matter how I change the prompt, nothing really fits my expectations. But it's fine, it's AI, get used to it. Even with such a simple and straightforward system, you still need to learn how to use it. Well, maybe it can recognize specific songs. How about to uh, never gonna give you up? To make things more interesting, let's ask AI to only use symbols and drums. And again, none of the results sound like the original song, Maybe we can find something in settings. Well, in this menu, there are a couple interesting options. One, we can change the seed, which should influence the results, but I'm not gonna do that. That requires a much deeper knowledge of this particular AI than any of us mere mortals have. I can also change the length of the track. There are three options, 30 seconds, 50 seconds, and 70 seconds, which will basically make tracks loop. These new settings apply only to the next generation. So here comes the ultimate test. GP GP Japa Japa song with only cymbals and drums. Unfortunately, the situation repeats itself and the generated song uh, sounds nothing like the one I asked for, but I'm still gonna download it anyway. Take a listen to this one. If I forget the prompt I've typed and just listen to it, then it sounds pretty okay. Also, if you don't feel like typing a prompt yourself, you can simply pick any keywords that you like from under the input window. That's an even faster and simpler way, especially if you're someone who wants to get good results from the first try. Anyway, Google did a fine job here. I really like tinkering with music effects. If you've been looking at this AI tool and thinking, 
I want more, then I definitely have great news for you. There are a ton of AI tools waiting for you at AppSumo. Running a YouTube channel myself, I know the drill. Starting something new is daunting, and there's always something new to learn, no matter how far you've come. That's where advice from someone who's been there, done that, becomes invaluable. I recently got my hands on Million Dollar Weekend by Noah Hagen, and it's been a real eye-opener. It's perfect for people thinking about starting their own business, freelancers, and folks working solo. Million Dollar Weekend is a crash course and turn fear into fuel. It's about embarking on an adventure you choose for yourself. The core of the book teaches you Kagan's Million Dollar Weekend process, a blueprint to get your business off the ground in 48 hours. You will learn how to attract customers who are happy to pay, automate your operations to earn while you sleep, and adopt a customer-first approach. And Noah doesn't just talk the talk, he walks you through finding your freedom number to make entrepreneurship feel less like a leap of faith and more like a calculated risk. The book doesn't leave you to figure things out on your own. Noah shares real-world emails, scripts, and conversations that have worked for him, giving you a leg up in your entrepreneurial journey. Million Dollar Weekend is now available on Amazon in free formats, and there is an exclusive offer in AppSumo under their educational products. Trust me, this is one link in the description you will want to click on. Now let's say you're planning on doing a room makeover, but you don't know which style to pick. Going into the store and checking out furniture, consulting with designers, all that takes a ton of time and doesn't really help you to figure out how you want your room to look. That's why you have to try Rooms GPT. This AI tool makes it super easy to redesign an existing space in a different style. It only asks for three things, the type of the room, the style, and the photo of the room itself. And there are so many options to choose from. There are literally dozens of room types from something simple like a living room, to more unusual like a, a sunroom or a music room. And the number of styles is simply outstanding. You can make your room look like Moroccan, Mexican, moody, contemporary, and so on and so forth. You can even pick a certain designer and the AI will replicate the style and approach to space planning. But let's see what I can do. For my first room, I'm gonna pick a Scandinavian style and set the room type to living room. Then I'm gonna upload this image of an empty room and hope for the best. It takes around a minute for AI to generate the results and if I don't like them, which happened to happen right now, I can hit regenerate and get something completely new. Okay, this one looks a bit better. So I'm gonna click the upscale button and the AI will generate a high-res version of the same image. Honestly, this doesn't really look like a full-fledged design, but it's more than enough to roughly arrange the furniture and understand how a certain style will look in your particular case. And in case you think this is bad, you haven't seen other AI designers that take half an hour to process and then just show an error message or the page stops responding. Rooms GPT is among the best ones, really. But let's do something more interesting. Let it be a Japanese style bedroom. I will also upload this image of a kid's bedroom that I obviously generated with Dolly. Here, the AI generated two versions of the same room and slightly changed the furniture. However, this is enough to really make the room feel Japanese. I like the second one a bit more, so I'm gonna upscale that one and check it out. Again, it's not super impressive or accurate, but definitely enough to understand that the Japanese style doesn't really fit in this case. And how about turning this old living room into a cyberpunk toilet? Here, again, the second option looks the best. From what I see, this AI isn't a replacement for your real interior designer. It's more like a quick sneak peek into how a room could look in a certain style. It basically saves you time and money since you don't have to pay the interior designer to come up with a way to turn your living room into a cyberpunk toilet. You just click a few buttons and instantly see which style looks the best. This AI is not without its flaws, but it's completely free to use, which is a significant advantage since almost every other AI interior designer costs a hefty price. Okay, do you remember Midjourney? Yeah, the one that costs money and doesn't give any flexibility to the way it generates images. Well, I've got something better for free. Crea AI allows me to not only generate images, but to draw them myself and have AI figure out what I want and how I want everything to look. Once I open the website, I need to click Run under Real-Time Generation, which will open the editing interface. The left side serves as my canvas, while the right displays the AI's interpretation of my Catch. There is a menu on the left with several options, text to image, image to image, screen to image, 
and camera, with the first two being particularly engaging. By default, image to image is selected. Underneath, there is another panel for pick and draw in tools, shapes, so uploading images and choosing brushes. There's also an input field where we need to type out your prompt. It's needed so that AI could precisely know what to draw. Our drawing is gonna serve as a guide for placing objects in the shot. Let's start by picking a red brush, tweaking its size and drawing something that looks like an apple. Then I will switch to a green brush and add a leaf, but without a somewhat what correct prompt the right side image doesn't quite look like an apple. I really should have cleared the prompt box. Anyway, there are two buttons near the prompt box. Random prompt and random seed. Random seed mixes things up, turn our apple into something like a crystal. To fix this, I will input the right prompt, apple. Then there is also a slider for adjusting the creativity. The higher the strength, the more creative the result. Now, if we look to the right side of the screen, we'll see a list of styles. Cinematic, illustration, bloom, product. Let's clean off the canvas and start from scratch. I'm gonna go for a pink brush this time and sketch a basic bicycle. Well, don't judge my drawings. I'm using the mouse to do that. What I find impressive is that even without any prompt, the AI managed to guess that it's a bike. However, the wheels are a bit off. They're supposed to be circular. So to fix this, I will enter pink, bicycle as the prompt. I will also pick product as the style because it gives the images this realistic polished look. These results are quite good, not gonna lie, but if I want to see even more detail, I can always upscale it. But Crea AI doesn't stop there, it can also work as a standard text to image generator. Let's have it sketch a French tower amidst desert dunes. The image looks okay, but I'm not sure that's how a French tower is supposed to look like. But if we put these imperfections aside, Crea AI stands out as a very interesting AI tool. It would be great for anyone from designers to artists, no need to know how to write prompts, just draw it. Another type of AI tools that usually costs money is logo makers. What surprises me is that almost all of them have exactly the same way of generating logos. And even so, the price range for such generators varies from a small fee to pricey subscription. The amount of features you get is also very different. Some AI tools give you only the logo itself, while others also show it on mockups. But I think I found a perfect balance that costs nothing to use. It's called Hatchful, and the process of generating a logo is super simple. First, it's going to ask us to pick our business's space. I'm generating the logo for this channel, so I'm going to choose tech. Next, I need to select a visual style. Honestly, I'm leaning towards these three, reliable, bold, and creative. Then it's as simple as typing in the name of the business, which in my case is AI Master. One of the last steps is choosing where we want to use our logo. This step directly affects how many logo variations we get when we download the one we like. This way Hatchful frees us from worrying about resolutions, aspect ratios, and all that. All I have to do is pick the design I like. Again, these results are not perfect, but don't expect other AI logo generators to do a much better job. The pipeline for all of them is virtually identical. Once I find the design I like, I can edit it to my liking. I can change the font, for example, to this one. If needed, I can change the color scheme of this logo. And when I download it, I get a ton of files. Here, the website says that in this package, I get 12 different logo versions for different needs. And trust me, if you're trying to build an online presence for your business, these 12 files could save you. All this is totally free, which is definitely the most impressive part. Anyway, be sure to try it out. It's a really good alternative to all the other similar tools online. If you always wanted to try mid journey, but never had any spare cash for that, then I present to you a good alternative that costs zero dollars and zero cents to use. It's called Playground AI, and it has a couple interesting features. But let's start at the beginning. Once the website opens, we see a huge canvas with a generation frame in the middle. Below that frame is the prompt window where we can type in whatever we want to generate. Let's not beat around the bush and ask AI to show us a yellow spaceship. Okay, this one looks nice on the first try. The default resolution of one generated image is 512 by 512, 
which isn't that much. But that's where the secret ability of the playground AI comes into play. We get an infinite canvas and can generate as many images as we want and the AI will do its best to blend everything together. This way I can just ask it to show me a green spaceship Gundam style and would you look at that it's placed into the environment really well. There's only one drawback to this way of doing things. It kind of limits you to a certain style but only if you decide to make the two images connected. Let's create a clean canvas and generate an image of a French mime barking at Saturn. Somehow the AI decided that I was asking for a dog but I'm gonna let it slide because that's not the main point. After the image is generated, I can just move the generation frame away from it without a visible connection. Then I can open up the menu with filters and choose something like realistic vision. The newly generated image looks far more realistic than the one before it and has a different style too. If needed, I can adjust the dimensions of the images by hand in the settings on the right, change the prompt guidance and specify the level of quality and details that I want. I can even choose how many images I want the AI to generate. Now, if I ask it to generate me a yellow Gundam Miyazaki style, it will give me two different images. What I like about Playground is how well it all works together and how good the results are, especially given the fact that it is completely free. I don't need a subscription to use it and it doesn't limit me in any way in terms of image generation. With Playground AI, I have far more control over my images than I ever did with Midjourney or Dolly. This is really one of the best free image generators that I found. All the AIs I've shown you are free and there are many more free AI tools on the web. Although I might say it becomes harder and harder to find the ones that actually work. So if you have any suggestions for me, don't hesitate to write them in the comments I will make sure to read them and if this video doesn't prove a point to you that AI can be free to use then I don't know what will I've just shown you five great AI tools that are completely free I hope they serve you well on your quest and if you want more free AI tools be sure to check out our previous video on this topic it's very useful thanks for watching and see you soon